Hi everybody, today I will show you how to add Facebook feed to WordPress website. So let's just begin. Alright, so to add the Facebook feed on our WordPress website, that is really easy. What we need to do, we have to install the plugin. So for that, we have to go inside the plugin and click on add new. So in the plugin, you have to search for smash. Okay. Alright, so now you can see here at the top of the search, we have smash balloon social photo feed. And after that, we have smash balloon social post feed. So we have to install the smash balloon social post feed here. Okay, so let's click on the install. Click on the activate here. Alright, so now as you can see here, we are inside the dashboard of the smash balloon. So let's click on the setup wizard. And here what we need to do, we have to connect our Facebook account here. If we want to show our Facebook feed. Okay, so let's click here. Alright, so as you can see that we have the option to connect with our Facebook here. But here it won't be connected with your Facebook account. Okay, it will show the feeds of either of your Facebook page or the Facebook group. So I will actually go here with the Facebook page here because I do have the page. And here let's just uncheck this and click on the connect to Facebook. Now here let's just click on the continue as my account here. Alright, so I would actually go with my page here, click on the next. So here are actually the permissions. So the smash balloon can actually read the content posted on my page and read the user content and the list of the pages that I manage. Alright, so now you can see this. These are the permissions that we're giving to the smash balloon. Okay, so let's click on the done now. And this would connect the smash balloon with our Facebook page. Okay, so now you can see here that the smash balloon is linked with my Facebook. So let's click on OK. Okay, so I have to select the page here. So select the page, click on the head. Now click on the next. Okay, so here as you can see the configure feature option here. So here we can see that we have the Facebook user feed and we have the downtime prevention. And after that we have the localization, we have the social feed collection and customer review plugin so we also have the pro features so pro feature are actually the part of the pro version of this plugin okay so i just simply keep the values like this as default values okay so let's click on the next now and i would actually disable all of these plugin because i'm not interested in any one of these plugin here okay so let's click on install selected plugin okay so we have done everything here and now what we need to do. Okay, so if you're using the pro version, you would have to activate this with the license key. Other than that, our setup is completed here. So let's click here. And now we can simply create our feed here. Okay, so let's click on add new here. And as you can see that in the feed tab, we have the different option here. So we have the timeline, we have the photos, we have the videos, album, events. And we also have the advanced feed here that you can see here. Okay, but I will simply go here with the timeline and click on the next now. And I have already selected the page here. So let's click on the next. Alright, so everything is complete now. So let's just close this. And now you will be able to see the feed here. Okay, Facebook feed here. So now what we need to do, if I want to use this in my WordPress website, all I need to do is to click on the embed here. And from here, I just have to copy the short code. Okay. Or I can also directly add this to the page or the widget. But I'll simply copy the short code from here. Let's just close this and go inside the pages. And I would actually like to create a new page for our Facebook feed. So let's click on add new here. And here, let's just write down the title of our page. So that would be our Facebook feed and now let's just click on the add block here and I would actually like to add here the column okay so let's click on the columns here and I actually want to go here with the two column structure so in the first column I would have my short code and in the second column I would actually like to add the heading okay so let's add the heading here my feeds okay so that is it so now let's just click on publish okay so let's click on view page and on our new page 
you will be able to see our Facebook feed here. Okay, so now you can see here, this is my Facebook feed. So these are the posts that I have uploaded recently. Okay, so this is how you can add the Facebook feed to WordPress website. So if you really find this video useful, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.